Hey guys, so this is question three of the NBT solutions to the exemplar questions. And remember, um, all of this will be linked in the description box below, um, including the questions and the video solutions. All right, so the expression minus x squared plus 6x minus 5, all square rooted, has either a maximum or a minimum value. So if we look at the expression, let's just ignore the square root sign for now and this expression has minus in front of the x squared and we know it's a parabola because it's got x squared and x and the constant all right so if there's a minus in front of the x squared we know that the shape is going to look like a sad face which automatically means there's going to be what is this? A maximum or a minimum value for the graph? Right, it is a maximum value. So automatically, these minimum value answers don't even apply. So let's look at what answers are remaining. You're either going to get maximum of 2 or 3. But we've got to work this out now. So at this um, turning point, we call it this maximum value. It's, we need to know what the x and y value is over here. And how do we get the turning point value? Turning point is, turning point, we're going to say x is equal to minus b over 2a. Right, this is just for the x value. Right, so minus b, well, let's just work out what a, b, and c is. So minus 1 is going to be a, because there's an inv invisible 1 in front of the x squared. Plus 6 is going to be b, and minus 5 is going to represent c. We're just looking for b and for a at the moment. So b is going to be 6, so we're going to minus and b 6, 2, and a is minus 1. So what does that give us for x? If we work this out, we're going to get a 3. So let us put 3 over there for x. Right. How do we get now what y is? Well, we take that, we know that x is equal to 3. We substitute it back into the original equation. So when x is 3, what's y? So y is going to equal... Remember this whole expression is actually y equals, and it's that expression. So y equals, and then we're substituting what x is already. And remember, just ignore the square root sign for now. I'll show you why. Minus, and then wherever you see x, put in a 3, plus 6, and then x is 3, minus 5. And if you work that out, you should get that y is equal to 4. So y is 4. Remember we got that x is 3. Let us put that in there. Okay, x is 3, y is 4. So, have we answered the question? We know that for this equation over here, minus x squared, plus 6x minus 5. This has a maximum of what? If x is 3 and y is 4, we're looking... Um, let's just draw the axis of symmetry quickly. And... Okay, it's not drawn to scale exactly, but just to show you that this maximum y value of 4 right? The maximum y value of 4 is for this equation or this expression over here. It's got a maximum of 4. How did I get a maximum of 4? Because y on the y-axis, the highest that this graph can or is reaching is 4. So now if I look at what they've actually given me, minus x squared plus 6x minus 5, all square rooted, 
well if the maximum of this expression is 4 then if I square root what the expression above is so if I'm going to uh, square root 4 um, my answer will be 2 so the square root of that expression that we've just solved will be 2 which is the square root of 4 so I hope you understand this um, it's not complicated it's just that you've got to simplify um, how you do the question and hopefully uh, that will help you answer it